welcome back. Today we've got the Solution Center on the road. You can see we're live here at Indy West. We're talking A2L tools with our friend Joel Sass from Yellow Jacket. And you can see he's brought along a handful of display items today that we're meeting with all of our contractors who's coming in for our A2L class and giving them kind of a heads up on what's to come on the conversion, the needs, and the popular items. So Joel, welcome. I appreciate it, Eric. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for coming in. Me. Well, thanks for coming in today. We're happy to have you. Uh, it's kind of a big day. We're kicking off this lead off, if you will, into 2024, which will be our year for the A2L conversion. We've got kind of a whole year to do that. And today you've popped in, you brought some different items with you. Uh, kind of tell us what we got here. Surely. Today we're featuring mostly the A2L stuff since you're having the A2L seminar. Okay. So just a couple of things to show you. This is our new analog A2L manifold gauge. This happens to be the Titan II, okay. but it's available on the Series 41 or the Brute. We have three manifold bodies and our A2L analog gauges are available now on all three of those. So it looks like any other analog gauge. A lot of guys come up here and they say, I have that and I have to remind them to look closely. This is for 454B, R32, okay. as well as 410A. So all the A2L refrigerants then, those are ready to go for They are ready to go. Awesome. Now when that guy gets out in the field and he's going to be servicing that piece of equipment, or maybe it's a new install and he has to add a little gas yeah. to compensate for the line set, the first things he's going to notice is coming off that A2L tank is a left-hand thread. Mm. So this is our left-hand thread adapter. It's identified by the three knurled rings here and uh, then it'll go to our regular quarter inch which would go on your manifold gauge. Okay, so those have been adapted to make sure you don't put non-A2L equipment on, correct. on A2L All or non-A2L gauges on A2L equipment. The sorry. 32, the 454B, those tanks will be left okay. in threads. If he doesn't want to buy a new hose, we also have tank adapters. Okay. Okay. Everything else we're showing here today for the most part is A2L compatible. That includes all of our Bluetooth tools. Anything that says Y-Jack on it is a Bluetooth only tool. Okay, that's so nice. It sends to the phone, so mm -hmm. I just have a few of them out here. But I'd like to show our P51 digital touchscreen manifold. This is not new. This has been out for a few years now. It came oh, out. Okay. Uh, it's probably on its fourth or fifth year. And it's built on the Titan II manifold body, but it, this is the touch touchscreen manifold. All of these are A2L compatible. Those refrigerants are already in here. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there's our manifold gauge. And we changed the refrigerant. This holds 126 refrigerants. Wow. So all the A2Ls are in here. Uh, 454B, 32, 1234Y, 290, 600, they're already in here. However, if there are changes in refrigerant or new refrigerants coming down, to, down the pike, this will not obsolete itself. This can very easily be upgraded oh. through the Yellow Jacket website. Interesting. I've done it to a couple of these, so it's easy to do. You plug it into your laptop, you log on, you hit a link, and so you just it. download the updates, you download and then you, the update. this is kind of a one-stop shop. Then it is. That's so nice. These, which John Stone stocks up there, we got them. <laughs> these are of, these come as a kit. Okay. So before the price point might scare you away. Uh, I would remind you it's going to come with four hoses, so you're getting a hundred and mm. some dollars worth of hoses. It comes in this backpack, it mm -hmm. comes with the vacuum sensor, it comes with the temperature probes and wow. the recharging manifold. Okay, so it's everything you need right everything there in one you bag, need you're in saying? One bag. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, other than that, we have this piece right here. This shows all of our A2L compatible products from recovery machines, the IR leak detector, okay. which, which does pick up A2L refrigerants, the DC vacuum pumps, and all the wireless tools. So these things are all available now for A2L refrigerant. So one of the big questions for like the pumps uh, is the sparkless motors, right? That's the big thing that they need to be compliant with A2L. And so everything here is ready to go and meets all of the standards. That's you're correct. Okay. 
Excellent. The DC motor, what makes it A2L compatible? The DC motor, as you said, Aaron, it's sparkless. Uh, another little hidden benefit to that, and as guys transition to DC motor vacuum pumps, they probably need to be aware of this. That DC motor is a soft start motor. Uh, okay. So it doesn't just bang, take off yeah. like anybody's vacuum pump always has. It starts with a low RPM and picks up. Yeah. A little hidden advantage there, it's a lot easier on the drive couple. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. So we got the leak detectors, the gauges. Uh, that's really nice. I, I didn't know about that until today. That's pretty interesting mm -hmm. that that's like always going to be relevant, right? Never obsolete because you just keep downloading stuff to At it. At least so. in my lifetime. Right. <laughs> now for guys that do some commercial work, some appliance work, this is our hydrocarbon charging kit. So this is for R290 and R600. It includes a scale, very sensitive scale because you're dealing with small increments of refrigerant. Mm -hmm. It also has a series of adapter fittings in here. So this will work on pretty much any cylinder that he's using. And some of them are proprietary to just their cylinder, their brand of cylinder, but this is kind of universal. It'll work on pretty much everything. Okay. And then I see this really fancy wrench here with some digital stuff on it. What do we got going here? Well, this is for your mini split guys. Okay. Uh, this has nothing to do with A2L, but it's an important tool, so that's why I put it out there today. Oh, it looks really cool. It's very easy <laughs> to use. Uh, as your mini split installers know, they should be torquing those flare nuts to the manufacturer's spec. So this makes that job a little easier. Um, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but you turn it on, you set the unit of measurement, whether it's foot pounds, inch pounds, whatever it may be, and as he tightens it, it reads the torque in real time. He puts his setting up or down, and as he tightens it, it'll show the torque and those lights come up and when he hits the set point it goes red and beeps. Let you know, yeah. So no guesses there. You guys stock this. Uh, we've sold a lot of them because it's imperative for any mini split guy. Sure. All right, well, anything else you want to let them know that's imperative to the whole conversion? Obviously, they've got a year. Uh, if they want to see how their tools are rated, if they're in need of replacement or if they're good to go, uh, what kind of advice do we have for them there? Well, my advice, uh, not that I'm qualified to give advice, <laughs> but uh, my advice would just be to w be aware of what is coming. Mm. And by you guys hosting this seminar today, that's yeah. really important. Uh, the part I sat in was excellent and mainly what I tell them is they could see this as early as first quarter yet this year. Sure. Depending on the OEM when yeah. they at their discretion start loading equipment with A2L gas but they will need to know about the left-handed tank thread, sure. the hose adapter, the tank adapter and at some point they're going to need to be able to read those pressures on gauges that are A2L compatible. So whether they do that with an analog gauge or a digital gauge, if they're into digital gauges now, they should be covered. Yeah. Beyond that, when we get into vacuum pumps, recovery machines, that's all coming too. All right. So a lot to learn. We'll be covering it over the year of 2024. Our tech team will be holding classes. We'll hope post more videos here. We'll have informational sessions and those types of things. If there's anything that you're looking for specifically, go ahead and add some comments down below. Let us know so we can get prepared to help you get prepared for the A2L conversion. So that's it today. We want to thank Joel uh, from Yellow Jacket for coming out and sharing some knowledge and information with us. Uh, until next time.